Local Mexican American artist is finding a lot of success with works exploring kind of what it means to come from two different worlds. Our Andrea Lucia visited Francisco Moreno in his studio to see what he's working on now. My grandmother was a painter, and so there was always art around the house. Francisco Moreno was six when his family moved from Mexico City to Arlington, Texas. Here I was old enough to know that my life had changed drastically. Like, the people were different, the language was different, like everything was different. So it was this kind of moment in my life that has forever lingered. Today, Moreno's art is a study of colliding worlds. I look like what, what feels honest to me. And to me, what feels honest is for it to be something that is multicultural. Like, I feel like, because that's my experience. His paintings play with unusual combinations, adding a touch of sci fi to a Renaissance portrait. I thought it'd be funny if she had this kind of like robotic neck. And this scene set in Florence, Italy, includes imagery from the Americas. Oh, thinking about Mexico being conquered by the Spanish, like I was like, what would the world look like if, if the opposite had happened? Moreno has tackled ambitious works and humorous ones too. And then sometimes I'm like, I just want to paint a squirrel eating a taco. And in every piece of his art, he sees a piece of himself. But it's the hardest thing because you make something and you put it out there and let's just say it's not well received and you pour your soul out for the world to see. It, it is... It's personal. Yeah, absolutely. Moreno's paintings are about to reach a whole new audience with his first major solo exhibit outside of Texas scheduled in San Francisco next year. The excitement of, of getting to show somewhere else um, is definitely very overwhelming. In his work, the duality of painting, Moreno depicts the highs and lows of his profession. And because sometimes you leave the studio feeling like you're on this horse and you're, you know, the best artist in the world, and sometimes you leave the studio and you just feel like you're laying on the ground on fire. Like you don't even deserve to pick up the brush. Each day, though, brings a new chance to bring a canvas to life. If tomorrow I get to paint again, then I am doing okay. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia. CBS News, Texas. And you can actually see some of his work at a gallery in Oak Cliff if you're interested. Thanks.